Hello Jokers, thanks for watching this episode of Jokers Physiotherapy. Uh, today I wanted to uh, discuss, uh, introduce this article. Uh, obviously a lot of my clients ask me, oh what's the best position to sleep in when you have a jaw problem? Um, this study uh, shed some light on that. Uh, this was a um, title called Are Templar Mandibular Disorders Associated with Habitual Sleeping Body Posture or Nasal Septal Deviation? Uh, in the article European Archi Archives of Otorhinolaryngology, 2016. So, uh, Kaya uh, Singi Baya Muluk and Ulusoy and Hansi, uh, these researchers. So they divided uh, uh, the, the subjects into four groups. The first one had uh, one, uh, the group one had no uh, nasal septal deviation but, uh, and also didn't sleep on their tummy. Second group had the nasal septal deviation but didn't sleep on their tummy. Third group uh, didn't have nasal septal deviation and slept on their tummy. And the fourth group had the nasal septal deviation and slept on their tummy. So it's double, double the factors in group four. So the, the, the result was that the people who slept on their tummy and had the nasal septal deviation had the most likely incidence, highest incidence of uh, temper, temper mandibular joint disorder. Uh, yeah, so I always tell the clients uh, that um, please don't sleep on, their, on your tummy, on their tummy, and obviously this, this just tells us that, that that's probably one of the factors or the one position to 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 avoid sleeping in the second group that had the high, highest incidence was the group two who had the nasal septal deviation but didn't sleep on their tummy and the third group uh, was the third highest and uh, they didn't have the nasal septal deviation but slept on their tummy okay so clearly there's something with the sinus passage, the nasal passage, and the breathing uh, that can cause people to have TMD, a temporary mandibular joint disorder. And I often uh, think that this is due to uh, not being able to breathe in through your nose, means your tongue has to drop so you can breathe through your mouth. The tongue drops, which pushes the bottom teeth forward. Uh -huh. That changes the mechanics of your jaw, the talking, all that stuff. And obviously that will affect your breathing through the night. So, uh, that's my 10 cent, my, that's my suggestion or guess. Uh, I, I'm yet to, uh, I suppose, read into enough articles about that proposal being the correct answer but it kind of makes sense to me and the advice I provide to the clients to try and have the tongue on the roof of your mouth and breathe in through your nose often helps to improve the client's symptom of the TMJ disorder so right uh, things that I need to keep uh, keep uh, keep I suppose uh, learning and that's the great thing about uh, TM, uh, uh, physiotherapy in TMJ. There's always new things that come up. And that's, I suppose, my role to let you guys know um, and keep myself updated and keep, uh, keep, uh, keep informing everybody that this is a problem that we can all solve uh, through proper rehabilitation by, a special, uh, by people who are dedicated in in the, in the treatment of TMJ disorder. Okay, so thanks for watching. Now, if you like this uh, uh, clip, please uh, press thumbs up and please subscribe if you are interested in further information about your TMJ disorder. 
Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers for the next episode. Bye.